Hello. So as many of you may know, it's Stress Awareness Month. And here at Scottish Brain Sciences, we've been reflecting on the important connection between stress and brain health. And this year's theme is Little by Little, which emphasises the significance of small but consistent actions for our overall well-being. And in today's fast-paced world, stress is experienced by many of us. However, even the smallest steps towards self-care and stress reduction can have a significant impact on brain health, not only in the short term, but also in the long term. And when we're stressed, our bodies release hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. And these hormones are part of our body's natural response to, to stress, designed to help deal with immediate threats. However, when this stress becomes chronic, these hormones can disrupt our brain functioning. And research has shown that cortisol in particular has been linked to a, a range of negative effects on the brain, including impacts on memory and thinking function. But for the most part, stress is modifiable. And as we all know, there are plenty of things we can do to reduce and manage stress in our day-to-day -day lives. And this will vary between individuals, but as a couple of examples of little by little stress reduction strategies, it could be as simple as taking a few minutes each day to practice mindfulness or meditation, both of which have been shown to reduce levels of cortisol and promote relaxation. It could also be something like exercise, which again has been shown to reduce stress. Personally, I like to go swimming for this, occasionally jump in the ocean if I'm feeling very brave, but it's gonna be different for everyone. Also, just getting out and about and spending time in nature has been shown to have a calming effect on the brain and reduce levels of these stress hormones. Especially during the spring, when everything's starting to bloom and the birds are out, it can be quite a nice thing to do. But everyone's gonna have their own preference and what works for one person may not work for others. But by prioritizing self-care and stress reduction, we're not only protecting our mental health, but we're also reducing our risk of developing brain issues in the longer term. And while the impact of these small actions may seem insignificant on their own, the effects they can have over time could be massive. So that's why this little by little theme is so important. And this Stress Awareness Month at Scottish Brain Sciences, we're focusing on taking small steps each day towards a healthier and happier life with less stress. By doing so, we hope to be able to build resilience against stress and hopefully reduce our risk of developing brain issues throughout our lives.